Thanks for joining us tonight. Some Utah lawmakers are hoping that local students can teach their colleagues a lesson in young women's health care. I got the chance to take a look at a new program that's aimed at helping students find feminine hygiene products in their schools and learn a little bit more about advocating for their own needs. Take a look. We also know that um, one in 14, so 25% of our girls, um, cannot afford period products at all. And so whether or not they choose, they're having a period every month, and they have to care for it. Utah's House Bill 162 requires all Utah schools to provide feminine hygiene products in certain restrooms in all school facilities. We've kind of overlooked this really basic fundamental thing, which is menstruation. The bill is the work of Representative Carrie Ann Lizenby of Clearfield in an effort to end, quote, period poverty. We know that period poverty is a real thing here in the states, including in the state of Utah. We know that um, um, seven out of 10 girls have either missed school or know someone who has because they don't have period products. It's not a new idea. In fact, in November, a rally was held to bring light to the issue with more than 100 people showing up. And now the Utah Policy Project has started this student group, the Period Project campaign. It's just time that we step in and try to help them, especially because it really affects their ability to be educated. This week, students from more than 60 public and private middle and high schools participated in a series of training events, teaching students leadership skills, the legislative process, and how to advocate for issues that affect them. The idea is to really help these girls think more broadly about government and their ability to really participate in government and have a say in the way that their communities are formed. Each student ambassador at this event also sent out two letters urging their state senators and representatives to vote in favor of HB 162. We're really hopeful that we're going to get that bill passed in the legislature so that no girl has to go home early because she started her period and isn't able to sit through class. The Utah Policy Project says this is the perfect chance for young women to not only fight for their rights, but to see the legislative process. It's a chance to really engage the girls in our community in three things. First, the legislative process, and specifically with this bill, and get them feeling like they can use their voice to do these things and be a part of their community and the way that society is formed. And then the last thing is just helping them um, learn how to speak to people who are, are in a more powerful position than they are. Figuring out how they impact the laws in their own communities. Just to really have them feel like um, that their thoughts are valued and that they can be an active participant, consider running for public office and being a part of that bigger system. Now, the Utah general session started earlier this week. It will run through March 4th, and of course, we'll keep you up to date on this bill and many others that are currently being debated at Capitol Hill.